Hey, hey Aquarius, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your October 2022 Health, Wealth, and Abundance reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Aquarius and again take a look at all things related to health, wealth, and abundance. So please do see the disclaimer in the description box below. And for those of you that are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links Aquarius in the description box below. All right, so the chakra that is illuminated for you in the month of October is the base chakra. And this can be found in the lower extremities, the perineum area, the base of the spine, all the way down to your legs, your ankles, your feet, and even your toes. So sometimes when this area is blocked, we may not feel stable in our lives. We feel the instability, which makes sense. We've been going through an economic crisis, a major pandemic. So at times we feel like that instability sets in and we're not quite sure if we have, you know, a place to live tomorrow or a job or a career or maybe a relationship that's very important to you is on rocky ground. So when this base chakra is blocked or is not fully functioning at its best, it can manifest externally into, again, those lower limbs, lower region, even into the hips and uh, that lower back can cause a little bit of pain, sciatic pain as well. Uh, so ways to open up this base chakra for you doing things that do bring a sense of stability this can be about trust as well so if you are not trusting a situation or you do not feel stable you may decide to uh, look for more stability whether it is in the category of a career or a job it may be about relationships i'm sensing here that october is going to be a turnaround month for you to bring in more balance aquarius to release and let go of the things that no longer serve you or contribute to instability. Now ways for you to open up this base chakra or root chakra you can uh, cycle, uh, whether it's bicycling, uh, bicycling, this can be about uh, walking, hiking, getting those lower extremities moving more so. You can work with the color red through meditation, crystal therapy. You can certainly work with red crystals such as this beautiful red jasper. You can eat more grounding or root vegetables. Uh, also making sure you're firmly planted. So you can do this through meditation where you imagine Imagine your, your uh, lower extremities as, as roots going into the ground. Now, some of you, it affects your crown chakra directly, and you may feel uh, a little bit dizzy or a little bit unbalanced when you do stand up or uh, just in general, you may be feeling that instability kick in at times. So base chakra is really highlighted for you. Now, when we think of health, it's more than just physical health. It's emotional, mental, spiritual, and you do have the two of pentacles showing up here. So it's very important to find balance. So the two of pentacles actually goes perfectly with this base chakra because when we feel like we are multitasking or we're running around kind of like a chicken with our head cut off when we are aimlessly just trying to either make ends meet or we have so much going on at times we can get lost in that cycle and that routine so I feel like it's very important for you to dedicate yourself to a few things here, a few goals or a few achievements, or even creating uh, a to-do list or creating more time in your schedule. They're talking about time management and prioritizing is very important or even compartmentalizing Aquarius because at times you let everything get jumbled together and then it's a big chaotic mess for you and you may lose your balance emotionally, physically, or spiritually as well. And uh, also financially for some of you. Now, when this Two of Pentacles shows up in regards to health, you may be going through at times financial distress. This can be ups and downs. This could also be uh, health because health is finely affected, finely tuned with your wealth as well. I've been saying in each and every reading, net, uh, excuse me, self-worth equals net worth so when we're feeling good about where we're going and the money that we make and our relationships our health thrives as well but when 
uh, that's not happening in our lives when we feel chaotic or we lose our grounding or our balance here our health suffers as well so this two of pentacles is all about multitasking finding the balance between work and play or even work in general like i said compartmentalizing you can see here in this description or in this picture of this balance uh, everything has its space whether it's love whether it is education whether it's timing it's filling your own cup nurturing yourself as well as growth and abundance so this is very important that you do put a little bit of energy into uh, a few different things but making sure you're spreading your time evenly is going to be very important for your health now you have the six of wands in your health sector. So a lot of you are really gaining some high level achievements that you've been wanting for yourself in regards to health for quite some time. But you're realizing that half of it is the power of your own belief. Do you believe that you're worthy? Do you believe that you can create a solid foundation for yourself? Do you believe that you're worthy of success here? The Six of Wands, Aquarius, is one of my favorite minor arcanas because it is all about accomplishment, achievement. For some of you, it is about recognition, being recognized, being heard, being seen, whether it is by people in your uh, family, whether it's your romantic partnerships, your children, your parents, your friends, your coworkers, or even your boss, your career. This can be about you being seen and being heard and feeling like you have the confidence, not just because other people are noticing you, but because you believe in yourself. And that's when you magnetize that energy of being seen and heard so your belief is half of it here and I feel like you are turning turning a new leaf here there's a new perspective you may have been through some challenging times especially in childhood now this base chakra is formed between the ages of zero and seven so some of you may have had uh, some things whether it was small or whether it was very large to you that have still affected your instability and I, I'm sensing here that there is a new leaf being turned and you are being successful finally after a time of really working because in the past you may have felt uh, fa uh, excuse me, you may have felt fail failure in a job, in a relationship, in your health. Some of your health has really failed you in the past. Some of you may have felt overlooked, shame, humiliated. Whatever has happened to you in the past, you're balancing up and you're moving forward from. So I really like to see this. You actually have double cards that say balance in your health. So if you have felt that pendulum swinging, Aquarius, sometimes your emotions may have really swung from one side to the other. Some days you were numb and cold. The other days you couldn't stop crying. Or maybe your temper went through extremes and you were high up on one end and low on the other. Uh, some of you, this could even be bipolar disorder, personality disorder, OCD. You may have been uh, prescribed some sort of some sort of medication, whether it was traditional medication or maybe you've been taking supplements or nutrients or herbs uh, that can help you balance out your mood as well. And because that, that head region directly affects that base chakra as well. So sometimes we tend to get dizzy or we get headaches at times. Do pay attention to what you're putting into your body uh, regarding foods as well. The more plant-based foods or more grounding vegetables or fruits that you can get the closer that it is to earth the better you will feel about being balanced here as well especially if you do suffer at times from gut health because the bowels can be affected with this base chakra as well you may subconsciously be holding things in whether this is holding in emotions, uh, holding in fears, or holding even in your own desires, that can directly affect your, your elimination and your bowel system here. I know it's a little TMI, but some of you uh, do suffer from that, and I feel like you're bringing that into balance the more you become aware of this. So the card 14 here is all about temperance. It's about patience. It's about blending the energies. What is working for you? What is not? Can you compromise in this situation? how can you bring in more self-control so if you need to cut out sugars because it's not agreeing with you can you be uh, controlled enough to say no that's not good for my body this is about body and mind connection so your body is trying to speak 
to you at this time, but some of you may not listen. You know that it's not good for you, whether it's a food, whether it's alcohol, whether it's a person, whether it's a job affecting your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, but yet you tend to kind of do it over and over because you think that that's the only way, but it's not. You have a choice here. I feel that your health is starting to look on the upward spiral here, which is really good for you, Aquarius. But first and foremost, you need to realize that you don't have to do everything alone. You don't have to find and seek the answers all by yourself. Maybe you have your whole life. Maybe that's part of what was ingrained in your childhood, that you had to be independent and you had to do things on your own. And yes, that's a good trait to have to a point, but also receiving is very important because then we unintentionally put it out there that we don't need help from the universe either. We don't need help from our guides and our angels. When we tend to reject help from others, it doesn't uh, pick and choose who we want to receive help from. It's that energy of, well, I can do this myself. And then we have a harder time attracting the things that we want into our lives, including good health. Now it says, where can I ask for more help in my life until we can receive with an open heart? We're never really giving with an open heart. When we attach judgment to receiving help, we knowingly or unknowingly attach judgment to giving it. That's exactly what I was just talking about. That's a quote, by the way, by uh, Brene Brown. And your soul action, Aquarius, thank you, Spirit. They're actually showing me Someone may be reading a book at this time or have just seen a quote by uh, Brenny Brown or Brene Brown, uh, if you know who that is. Some of you may not even know that you're reading a book by her, uh, but you may want to take a look if you are working on healing and especially if it's mental health or it is about letting go or, or addictions or people or emotional emotions, you may want to uh, check out a couple of her books. Now your soul action. Today, Aquarius, ask someone for help and receive it with an open heart. Today's mantra, I ask for what I want and I am open to receiving it. Yes, a lot of you are really changing your perspective. So I love this. Now, when it comes to wealth, we're diving into the wealth category here for you. You had two cards that immediately came up and now I see why. You have the butterfly and the spiral. There may have been some sudden changes in the category of wealth. Now wealth is more than just financial wealth, it's emotional wealth as well. But in this case, we'll take a look at finances, career, money. Doesn't matter if you're unemployed, looking for a job, an entrepreneur or retired. Uh, we'll dive into the energy here. There was some sudden changes in the category of wealth, whether some of you uh, had to pay in a large chunk of money, maybe it was for a home, a vehicle, maybe you had to dive into uh, an investment account to pay for bills. Some of you, there is a new job here coming in, a new income source. But what I'm sensing is you, this was short term for you. Now it says short term loan, which you may have certainly spoken with uh, a financial advisor or a bank uh, specialist here. But I feel like this sudden change was short term. And some of you are saying, yeah, but Melissa, I've been going through it for two or three years. This is a short-term temporary situation in the grand scheme of things, Aquarius. So yes, two to three years out of you know, 20, 30, 40. Now, yes, you may have struggled up and down your entire life when it comes to wealth, but I'm sensing here that you're, the reason why is so your soul could grow and evolve, but also to push you in the direction of doing something that's more creative, more liberating, more emotionally fulfilling. And I feel like the, the way for you to fully appreciate and integrate that energy was to go through some sudden changes when it comes to your wealth. And this could also be a career in the arts could even be education. Uh, it could be about a temporary job or a temporary position. It's about going towards work that is fun, that is emotional re uh, excuse me, emotionally rewarding and fulfilling to you here. This was just a change, whether it was a change that occurred in a job. Uh, maybe you were forced into retirement or you were let go of a job. You had to resign uh, for some of you. 
there were, was a, a huge increase in, a, I don't know if this is a bill, in a loan, there's some sort of increase that I feel like it surprised you or took you by surprise here, whatever that was. But the good news is you're finally on that upward trend. Yes, it felt like you were out of control regarding finances. Some of you overspent and then you thought, oh boy, should I have bought that or purchased that? Or wow, I had just enough money to make this bill or to make the rents or to make the mortgage. But the good news is this spiral is starting from the middle, or excuse me, the very, the inner being here, and it spirals outward. So what this is doing is it is an upward trend, an outward trend, and it's something that's going to bring about better finances than you've been through in the past here. You may be revisiting a job, uh, revisiting an opportunity. Some of you are going in for a promotion. You may be networking. Uh, this is the energy of magnet magnetism here. Uh, there is an energy of you either connecting, networking, or attracting the kind of job that you want that's more stable. Because what I'm sensing is the, the position that you are in regarding your wealth, it may have felt unstable. It may have felt on rocky ground. Or at any time, uh, they're showing me a large layoff so at any time, you could feel like the rug's being pulled out from underneath you. And that stemmed a little bit of fear in that root chakra, which may have caused that lower back pain for a lot of you, uh, even into, again, the, the buttocks region and the sciatica. But the good news is here, uh, you have some new direction because you can see the five of cups here is actually looking towards the future. You're changing your focus. Instead of focusing here on what's lost or what has happened in the past or the uh, material, yeah, material or even financial or emotional loss, you're now focusing on new opportunities. The five of cups is saying, yes, you've grieved. Yes, you've sat in an unstable position here or a difficult or emotional situation when it came to your wealth, but now you're able to move forward and change your focus on the future, the present and the future instead of going backwards. Some of you are getting really truthful, very honest, very authentic about your wealth. Uh, some of you may have to tell someone no. This could be a family member that is asking for your time, your energy, your money, your effort. I feel like it's about setting healthy boundaries, Aquarius. Now, some of you may be uh, asked to borrow someone money, borrow someone a vehicle. They're just showing me that there could be someone in your life who is less than receptive. They may be uh, a taker and they may not always give. Now this could be a boss. It could be a family member. It could be a child. But I feel when it does come to your wealth, it's almost like they feel like you're a never ending source of time, income, money, effort. And now you're putting a stop to it. You're doing what is right for you. And it doesn't mean that you're being selfish. It's about doing what you need to do because some of you can't afford uh, physically, emotionally, mentally to keep giving to this person, this job, this situation, this group, whatever this is here. But the seven of swords showing up here is all about you standing in your own integrity, standing in your own truth. And you're an air sign, Aquarius. If anyone can do this, it's you. You can set those healthy boundaries here for yourself. And I feel like when you do that, it's actually going to heal your finances, your money, your wealth, your source of instability here. Because you're contributing, you were contributing to the wrong things is what I'm sensing here. And now you're seeing a new focus for what can you let go of? What can you release? What can you cut the cords or cut the ties to? Because it's not helping your wealth. And remember, health is wealth here. So you have the star card. This is all about inspiration. It's about healing, guidance, positivity, and peace. So don't give up on your dreams when it comes to wealth. If you're dreaming and striving to be a millionaire, Millionaire, uh, you know, continue staying in that high energy. Surround yourself with uh, people who are millionaires or drive a, a very expensive car. Or look at homes. Get in that energy. Align with the energy. If you just want to be able to pay your bills, you know, be able to focus on that you're able to do that, your own self-worth. You're able to heal regardless of what level you're at in this financial wealth in this financial world here, uh, you are climbing up here. And that's what I'm seeing with this spiral. You are on that upward trend of healing and bringing in more wealth. Your final card from the Soul Truth Aquarius is 
What do I resist feeling right now? And remember in the beginning of your reading, we talked about sometimes we tend to either numb things with the emotions uh, or we completely can be uh, hysterical at times or be through be in a cycle of deep emotions where maybe we're crying into our ice cream bowl, watching Netflix, whatever it is here for you, but don't resist the feelings. It says we have to feel it to heal it and you have the star healing card. We first have to honor its existence. Emotions are like waves. Some are soft, some are fierce, some are layered, and some will sweep you off your feet. When we allow ourselves to feel it all, we can then release what no longer serves us. Your sole action, Aquarius, is this. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, they just gave me uh, the word. Now, I don't know if it's a name. I know it's a vehicle. Uh, it could be a place, Bentley, Bentley. So whether uh, you that's your name, it's somebody in your energy, it's your child, it's uh, a place or a vehicle, please take it as it resonates, Bentley. Your soul action, allow yourself to feel this wave. Let it move through you no matter how long it lasts. Then release it back into the ocean. Feel it, heal it, enjoy the sweet freedom, Aquarius, within your soul. Absolutely. This is about you feeling it in order to heal it. So if you have been suppressing this energy, maybe it's a limiting belief that stemmed from childhood and you weren't even aware of it. Uh, perhaps it's due to the ups and downs that's been going on in the world. This is about you letting go of the limiting belief, the job, the person, the pattern, the old way of doing something because it's not working. And I feel like you're in integrating a new system into your life that's going to pay off. I just heard a better dividends, whatever that means for you, better dividends or more dividends. So some of you may be even transferring or switching around money or looking at investing in different things that increase your wealth. Now in the category of abundance, you actually have the letting go card, which is huge. This is about liberating yourself. And we just heard that here. This is about liberation. It is about uh, goodbyes, growth, ascension, beautiful. Some of you, you're gaining closure from a past situation and that will allow you to flow more freely and integrate fully life's lessons. So letting go is going to bring you abundance. You can see these two children on this card and they're both riding a bike and they're letting go here, letting go of all their their worries, their fears. They're not worried about falling off the bike. They're not worried about uh, running into a tree. They're excited and they're enjoying the moment here. And there's no expectations. There's no ties and they feel free. They feel liberated and they are bringing more joy, happiness, and excitement into their lives. But knowing that you are protected, that you have uh, the spiritual and hopefully some of you, the financial and uh physical support, but if not, you know that you have that spiritual support and guidance from your team, your ancestors, your guides, your loved ones, your angels, and you're definitely letting go of things that no longer serve you. There is a deep lesson here for you with the Hierophant card showing up. This is beautiful when it comes to the category here of abundance. The more of the things that you let go of Aquarius that aren't serving you, the more abundant you will be. Whatever abundance looks like looks like to you. Some of you are feeling abundant with the, uh, the teaching and the learning going on around you. You feel abundant within your beliefs, within your morals, within your uh, family dynamics, within your spiritual family as well, your soul tribe. Uh, for others of you, you feel abundant with the knowledge that you've gained uh, and are able to teach others based on your own growth, your own experiences. Some of you are committing to new things. This can be the card of commitment, whether it's a new relationship, a new job, a new way of thinking. And I feel like it has to do with you aligning with your integrity here because of the seven of swords. Your next card is the seven of uh, seven of cups. This is about your daydreams and decisions. This can be a card of making choices, wishful thinking. It's about needing to focus because at times you can get overwhelmed and that can throw your equilibrium off, Aquarius. So it's very important that you focus on a few different things. And again, it, it may be wise for you to compartmentalize, 
to set up a schedule, to set up a new routine, but allow yourself fun along the way as well. Because when so many things are happening, you can certainly get overwhelmed and you can feel a little bit wishy-washy. But the good news is this is showing up in your abundance category. So I do feel like whatever it is you've been daydreaming about or whatever it is you've been wanting to move forward, but whatever reason you've held back, I feel like this is your sign saying it's time to move forward and do what it is that lights you up. And what you think about, you bring about here. You have the magician, which is all about manifestation. So you have the Midas touch this month, Aquarius. What you're focusing on is certainly going to grow. The magician is all about having every single tool that you need, whether it's resources, whether it's uh, spiritual guidance, whether it's connections, networking, uh, finances through maybe a loan or a bank, whatever you need here, you have at your fingertips if you believe leave. Okay, because uh, the magician believes in his own tricks, right? He believes that he's able to manifest. And I don't want to say trick the audience, but in a way, uh, he's able to kind of manipulate the, the surroundings. And that's what you're able to do, but not in a negative way. Some of you certainly, you know, we can use our manifestation in a negative way. Because if we stay in that negative mindset and negative thinking, we tend to attract more of that. But what you're doing is you're realizing that you have have the power you have the the Midas touch in your hands so a lot of you are bringing about more abundance by using those tools the skills the talents that you have to take action in your life so very very powerful energy indeed now your final cards here from uh, a new deck that I'm using, I really love. By the way, if you're interested in any of the decks you see here or above, you can find all of that in the description box below. You have here the Age of Light. This is a very powerful card. It says you've been training for this for lifetimes. Whatever you're going through now, you've been preparing for, you've been planning for. I believe that prior to coming here on earth that we... We have almost like um, um, a soul map of what we would like to achieve, but we have free will. So how we do it can be different for each and every one of us, but we have main goals, but we allow ourselves to achieve it in the ways that we choose. So yes, we do have free will here, but you've been planning and it says you've been training for this for a lifetime. So you've been learning and accumulating knowledge, Aquarius, for many lifetimes to get you to this point in history, in life, in this moment in time where you're able to manifest manifest of whatever it is that you want in your life, whether it does have to do with spiritual development and growth, teaching, learning, career, retirement, love, whatever this is, you've already known about it. And I feel like it's going to bring you to the top. You can see here this top of the pyramid. And your final card is awakening. This is huge. Some of you may do a lot of astral traveling as well when you sleep. Some of you may be reading about or discovering more about astral travel or dream interpretation as well. It says energetic upgrades, a new way of being integration. Yes, yes, and yes. This is about you evolving on a, a soul level, and you're definitely uh, having some energetic upgrades. So that's maybe at times why you're being challenged here in this base chakra, because your instability tends to kind of crackle or it tends to feel unstable for you to build a solid, firm foundation and really trust that the things that are happening are happening for you, for your growth, for your uh, your soul to evolve, not happening to you to single you out, Aquarius. You're meant to shine. You're meant here to evolve. And you came here on earth to not only yourself evolve, but to help uplift humanity. So I hope this resonates with you, Aquarius. Very deep reading. Uh, if it does, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly does help get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. Feel free to share, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I am sending all of you beautiful souls tons of love and light. Thanks for tuning in.